want the sound. One more time. Want the sound. Here we go again. Tell me funny, I can hear up to be my prey? <laughs> now, it's just the two of us. Stow away that irrational anger of yours. I just have a friendly reminder for you. Seeing is not always believing. Why are you so sure they told you the truth? Oh, don't jump to conclusions so soon. Stubborn. Why can't you place some of that trust in me? Or do I have to crush you to make you behave for once? Playtime's over. This might hurt. Are you all right?
yourself up to be my prey? <laughs> now, it's just the two of us. Stow away that irrational anger of yours. I just have a friendly reminder. Seeing is not always believing. Why are you so sure they told you the truth? Don't jump to conclusions so soon. Why are you so stubborn? Why can't you place some of that trust in me? Or do I have to crush you to make you behave for once? You knew I was following you all along, huh? My Elysium only breaks under coordinated attacks from both sides. I can never get rid of all these pesky little helpers around you, can I? So you've joined hands against me with Miss Magistrate here. It does hurt my feelings. You know? You're always so, so popular. Are you all right, Rover? Of course she is. How could I ever have the heart to hurt her? Consider my moment of failure a gift of sincerity, Rover. I trust you haven't forgotten our conversation earlier. Choose me. I'll tell you everything you want. Huh. I see. So she made the move before I could, and told you all of it already. Then as the winners, would you be so kind as to tell me how you set me up?
Now I have retrieved the Magistrate's message for me from the puzzle box. But it only points me to the Grand Library. There's no meeting time. Something is still missing. I've solved the puzzle, the disks have been rotated, and the two symbols are now glowing. With this glowing light, a shadow is cast on two other symbols. The Black Tortoise of the North, north to the City Hall. And the time reads, the Shichen of Cho, in the wee hours of the morning. three days. We both made it on time. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Jinshi. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. An emergency forced me to leave, and I only had the time to prepare some tokens for you. Please pardon my lack of hospitality. Yes, the Sentinel of Jinjo is currently absent. Correct. The Sentinel's guide and guard humanity is a symbol of our civilization. When a region's Sentinel goes absent, chaos is bound to ensue. As this news could lead to civil unrest, please, Keep it a secret. Jinjo's sentinel, Jue, is being held captive by the Fraxidus. I had to postpone our meeting and put all my effort into finding its whereabouts. Yes, our thoughts are connected, to a certain degree. I can sense its memories, feelings, and surroundings, though not very clearly. Unfortunately, I haven't. I can feel Jue is in danger. The good news is, I have figured out the culprit behind all of this. Precisely. The Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Overseer Scar had several objectives upon infiltrating Jinjo. To track you down, to test your strengths, and to make you join their cause. To abduct Jue, and to resurrect the Thrinodian in advance. They must have discovered your value, likely from one of Jue's prophecies. If you join them, they'll gain significant power. Should you refuse to join, the Fraxidus will likely want to eliminate you, so you don't get in their way. I have a plan to apprehend Scar. Once we capture him, the Fraxidus won't be that much of a threat to you for the time being. If you are willing to lend us a hand, I will ensure your safety during our cooperation. Thank you for your trust, Rover. Speaking of which, you seem to have already gathered a lot from the tokens. Impressive, Rover. The threat Jinjo is facing is far worse than meets the eye. One of the Thrinodians will soon be reawakened. They are the enemies of human civilizations, born from the dark side of our collective consciousness. We must defeat them to protect all of humanity. We have been doing our best to prevent the disaster, 
But the Fraxidus is accelerating the Thranodian's revival. Indeed. You have defeated the Crownless and absorbed its echo with your bare hands. It is the tacit discord that embodies the concept of warfare. Resentment of the Fallen, fright of the ignoble, those are the emotions that lay ground for its birth. The Crownless is a tacit discord that possesses powers from the reviving Thranodian. Jinjo is a border city with an unbreakable will and a strong spirit of resistance. However, we also fear the constant wars and loss of life, and the Thranodian can prey on that. You, however, you were able to defeat and absorb a Thranodian-related tacit discord with your bare hands and resonate with other TDs. Meanwhile, Huang Long's records mention a hero with similar powers who saved our nation during the Thranodian War. She is also mentioned in literature, dating back to Jinjo's establishment. To uncover your true identity, this could be a helpful lead to pursue. Yes, based on my own deduction and the prophecies of Jui. You mean... the unfinished statue of Jue? I see. Do you mind letting me know what you remembered? Since it's related to our Sentinel, I might be able to help. Rover, the memories of which you speak... As I mentioned earlier, I can resonate with Jue, our Sentinel. Your recollections... They align with what I've witnessed in Jue's memories. Yes, I do remember seeing something similar. I believe it had truly happened in the past. In other words, you may be the person mentioned in our records. The unwavering presence by our sentinel's side, bonded by an unbreakable trust. Resonators tend to live a longer lifespan, but it is indeed unprecedented to live hundreds of years without any sign of aging. So many mysteries about you remain unsolved, and your age is just one of the unknowns. But I don't know. Jue's last piece of information pointed to the Northfall Barrens, where you should find the Thranodian. I pray you will find your answers there. The Thranodian is resurrecting, and our nation is in grave danger. This reminds me of the Thranodian War all too much. Perhaps this has something to do with your mysterious appearance in Jinjo. Not really. I don't plan to believe in a hero showing up out of nowhere and protecting us. I am just presenting whatever lead I have about your past. As I know it is troubling you, I want to help you, and that is all there is to it. Thank you for considering lending us a hand. Your help is much appreciated. But please, do not feel obligated because of the information I shared. They are my people, and the responsibility to keep them safe should fall on no one else but my own shoulders. I am saying this because I have faith in my abilities, and even more so in the bravery of Jinjo's soldiers and our people. You deserve to make your own decision about this after uncovering your true identity. I appreciate everything you've done for us during the past few days, and perhaps even longer ago. Once it all settles, I am ready to accommodate and assist in whatever future decision you make. You can leave Jinjo or the entire Huanglong if you wish. If you ever need me again, 
You need only ask. Let's keep this a secret between the two of us. How does that sound? Scar, you are now under arrest for committing multiple felonies in Huang Long. Do you have anything to say? What do I want to say, huh? While I'd love to tell you another story, I guess that's not what you want to hear. Let's cut to the chase, Madam Magistrate. I'm getting bored already. Very well. You will answer only our questions from now on. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? You kidnapped Jue and revived the Thrinodian, accelerating the next lament. This is proof enough that you are the enemy of Jinjo and all humanity. Stop dreaming you can force Rover to join you. She is our honored guest, and I will not allow any harm to come her way. Ha! <laughs> How confident you sound! As the Thrinodian's resurrection approaches, Jinjo is barely holding on. How much longer do you think you can keep up this facade? Thank you for your concern. We have crushed your schemes once, and we can do it again. I have one last question for you. Abducting Jue, stalking Rover, and setting up an ambush in Cheecher Village. You couldn't have accomplished that all on your own. Unless... Unless I'm not the only overseer in Jinjo, right? <laughs> I have answered all your questions with full honesty. I don't mind you knowing because it won't make any difference. You can try to stop us with all you have, but it's too late to change the course of history. Now, I have one question for you. You seem convinced we caused the disappearance of Jue. What if I told you there was more to it? Would you be curious? About Jue? What else do you know? Come closer and I'll tell you, Madam Magistrate. It's a secret for your ears only. How dare you! Madam Magistrate, I... Do more. What if I told you your sentinel had made this prophecy a long, long time ago? Your all-seeing sentinel abandons you now of all times. Need I say more? We're merely adding a touch of extra fuel to the fire that will soon consume all. Rover, care for a wager? I know you've been searching for answers about your past, and I've got news for you. Watch out! You are one of us, the Black Lambs, and you have been chosen to join us, ushering in the new world. Once you discover what you really are, you will come to us with no hesitation. The Fraxidus awaits your arrival with open arms. 
and I look forward to that day in sincere anticipation. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. What he mentioned about our Sentinel is... highly sensitive. I cannot disclose it yet. Not before verifying it myself. Is it a ploy to create distrust among us? Or... <sighs> Ajue is the guardian Sentinel of Jinjo. It is responsible for assisting Jinjo's magistrate in administrative affairs. While I am the final decision maker, Without the assistance of Jue, I cannot guarantee I am always making the best choices for my people. Thank you. I am glad you think so. Jue can predict the future, and up to this point, every one of its prophecies have been proven true. While justice may not be universally agreed upon, its decisions have consistently served the best interests of Huang Long. For that, I suppose we will have to talk to it in person to find out. In addition, Rover, Jue once told me to deliver a message to you. To the Awakened One. When raindrops fall upstream, please head to the Northfall Barrens and seek General Jian of the Midnight Rangers. I suppose so. General Jian is currently battling another TD outbreak in the Northfall Barrens, which will also serve as our front line against the Thranodian. But the ongoing war has made it a very dangerous place to go. Since you won't need to go there right now, not until when the raindrops fall upstream. I know you're here for clues about your true identity. And I don't want you to leave the city empty-handed. Have you heard about the Black Shores, Rover? It's an organization shrouded in mystery, with a secretive membership process and members who usually keep their identities hidden. Upon your awakening, one of their members discreetly contacted me to gather information about you. But please don't worry. The Black Shores developed a special lament prediction system and has established partnerships with countries worldwide. While operating in secrecy, they are not an extremist group like the Fraxidus. They have been monitoring the situation in Jinjo to provide assistance when needed. Thanks to their extra help, my meeting with you went smoothly. This Blake Bloom is their symbol. The Black Shores members usually wear it on their person. The Black Shores once provided us significant insights into the relationship between the Moon and the Thranodians. This time, they've come to inform us a Thranodian is about to resurrect near Jinjo. Apart from that, I'm not sure what else they may be hoping to achieve. This photo is yours to keep. I will return with Jue shortly, and the Black Shores may be worth your try during this time. Rover, are you all right? I see. The Black Shores must have a deep connection to your past. Since you are likely being closely monitored by the Fraxidus now, I suggest keeping an eye out for the Black Shore members. They could prove to be your valuable allies. I'll do my best to find Jue, and tell you everything I learned from it once I return. This is my promise. Yes, please leave it to me.
Sanhua. Yes, Madam Magistrate. I will be going on a temporary leave. During my absence, please help me handle my responsibilities in Jinzhou. Understood. Should I continue protecting that rover? No need. Both Chan Li and I will be away, and there will be more than enough paperwork for you to handle. Is Lady Chong Li leaving for the capital? Please pardon my intrusion, but she just faced an ambush in the Central Plains. What if... Regarding that incident, we tried to warn her about the Fraxidus, but they were more cunning than we thought. If she runs into another powerful enemy like Scar, she'll eventually have to confront them on her own. Sanhua, you can place more trust in Rover and me. Understood. I will. My lady, no matter what happens, my sword is always yours. Interrogation and my appointed meeting with Rover have already finished. Scar only needed the two of you as his audience. We already knew what he wanted, and we let him have as much. She decrypted every message we intended to convey. It's only proper you meet him in person, as the one who crafted those puzzles. Such intricate puzzles. I guess only Rover has the patience to solve them all. No detail is too small. I'm sure she understands. Besides, not seeing the opponent heightens the thrill of the game. If everything goes according to the prophecies of Jue, I will meet her in person eventually. So, what did our captive from the Fraxidus tell you about Jue? that Jue had predicted I will have to fight it one day. A fight that will shape Jinjo's future. Well, that is... unexpected. But you don't seem all that surprised, do you? Can't say I am. I had suspected as much from our previous conversations, and the message it left me... His words only confirmed it. Where was it when you last sensed its presence? It was... in Mount Firmament. Unlike Jinjo City, that mountain is still resting in stillness. The place where the first people of Jinjo lived. And where Jue first manifested before us humans. I see. I'll find Jue and bring it back as soon as possible. Our enemies could have planned it as a trap. We have a bigger goal to focus on, remember? I understand. I will not let anything or anyone disrupt the peace in Jinjo. Would you let what you heard from Scar sway your determination? No. He cannot ever turn me against Chue. If anything, his words only confirmed my theory. I am the Magistrate of Jinjo, appointed by the Sentinel itself. The prophecy speaks of a decisive incident for Jinjo's future, where I will be a key player. The fight between me and Jue is only a precursor. My job remains unchanged. I will fulfill my duty as Jinjo's Magistrate, with my own judgment. Is that your final answer? A single strand's neglect births mountainous upheaval. You taught me that, remember? The safest option is for me to go in person. Very well. Since we are already mid-game, 
I will let you decide our next move. This time, I shall be a pawn in your hand. Remember, I will always stand by your side, in this crisis or any other. Am I a player or a mere pawn? I suppose there is no difference at this point. No matter what, I will do what I must. <laughs> 